Welcome everybody to the match between 99% and Moscow 5. This is the loser bracket uh, round number one. This is a best of one between these two teams and Moscow 5, they are the favorites here. They have about 65% in E-Battle and about 60% on uh, on D2L, man. Zach, man, this is your first time casting. It's for such a big audience. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good and I'm anticipating this to be a very good match today. And uh, I'm liking both teams. They look like they're in both really good positions right now. Yeah. And like always, the new team of 99%, aka Mice and D-Day, always like to play tricks on me. And now they are they put in the name Defe, they said E Defe Posto. Maybe someone yeah, out there pronounce that. Yeah, uh, we'll call them 99%. If somebody can translate that in the in the stream, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, much appreciated. <laughs> yeah. Because this is not something that uh, that we can do. <laughs> uh, definitely not. I, I don't know what language that would be. Um, probably Siberia. I don't know if this. I don't know. Where, where are they from? Where Siberia. Are... Oh, Siberia. Okay, it must be Siberian then. Mm, <laughs> Shadow feed, eh? Yeah. The devil. We've seen that before. Oh yeah, I love playing Shadow feed myself. Definitely, like Gyrocopter has picked a lot right now by all the big teams, all the little teams. Gyrocopter is just very good right now with his uh, rocket barrage. I think that's a very strong level one at the moment. Well, they just brought out a little bit of a nerf into it. It's now really worth it just to start leveling it up. At level four, it does about the it does the exact same damage as before, but now the build up is just way more important than it was before. Yeah, didn't they nerf Gyrocopter's int intelligence? Yeah, they also nerfed it? that. Uh, they got out four of that. Oh, that's unfortunate for Gyrocopter. More. Like, I do see players uh, often prioritizing um, the Q and the E move over the W. I think the Magic Missile is always good to have, like, a uh, Magic Missile, sorry, a uh, Homing Missile. To have a value point in it is very good, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Even yeah, if it's but... just to annoy the other one, to keep them on the edge, and even just the vision that you get from it is also already a oh, good point. Yeah. But I think it's really easy to kill, and uh, it gives also gives a gold bounty as well. Yeah, but, but I do see pro players prioritizing other skills over it. Yeah, it's, it's nine of ten times you just see the value point, and that's where it ends. Omni Knight is a great counter to Gyrocopter. It shuts down all his physical DPS from Black Cannon. Yeah, especially well, in the early game, it, it's not that big, but yeah, later in the match, that's going to be such a big problem. Definitely, when Gyro gets uh, the Monkey King bar, the butterfly, definitely. Oh, I reckon Gyrocopter will need an early BKB against Viper and Lashrak. Lots of magic damage coming from there. We're not sure if it's a core Leshrac yet, but I've seen teams using core Leshrac, especially some of the Chinese teams. Well, um, <laughs> essentially, actually, everybody. Was, was, everybody? Yes, uh, I think this is about the... Five well, I think we have about an 80 or 70% pick slash ban rank of Leshrac in the Mountain Trail Challenge. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, well, anyway, I see Clockwork's been banned. I really enjoy watching Clockwork as a spectator, I, and he's really fun to play as well. And he's been really good this meta. He's been really shutting down uh, these heroes. He, Shad Clockwork would particularly be really good against Shadow Fiend just to stop him channeling that ultimate and just closing down the distance. Yeah, but yeah, usually you don't see the Shadow Fiend. <laughs> Once he walk, tries to walk up and do the Requiem, uh... yeah. But then you'll Scepter, do you reckon, on the Shadow Fiend? Mm. At the moment, there, there's uh, an up and a down to it. If you use it on Lash Rack and he already has his Pulse Nova activated, you essentially just give him three seconds of free Pulse Nova. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. That's the problem there. It, although with the Lina here as well, it's actually a good setup, but you already have the Shadow Demon Disruption, so... you said there's not the item that you need straight away. I'm gonna think he might be going for Mecha plus uh, Blink Dagger. Going yeah. Along those lines. That's a very potent combo they have there, because Shadow Demon, Soul Catcher, plus the Lina, that's going to be very potent, if, it, if they can combo that up well. And uh, I have here, I believe you one of your friends calling you a noob, that you lost. You got wrecked in a 1 versus 1. Oh, let's have a look here then. It... Zach got wrecked in a 1 versus 1 against a noob. Uh, that wasn't, <laughs> that, that's not particularly true actually. Uh, it was a 1v1 shot of mid no rune and... Uh... Well, he did beat me, right? But I have extreme lag. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's that's what I call excuses, excuses. <laughs> so you got wrecked today, but I know, but it was good to hear. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, but I beat all my other friends, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, anyway, Ruby. I actually, I really like the Ruby here as well, just to have the instant lift, and you always kind of want to steal like the Lina, Luna Blade, and especially in the earlier stage of the game with low mana. 
It's actually quite easy to steal it from her. Northfield is very good against Gyrocopter's early magic game, uh, magic damage early game. But the problem is, is is Rubik going to prioritize Northfield over the other two spells? Probably not, but it could be effective late game. Uh, it's probably going to be one to one build. Yeah, I uh, usually max Fade Bolt over Telekinesis and Northfield because that's your nuke. Really. Yeah, but you will see the the early uh, value point into the Northfield here. And also, just for the Viper, it's amazing. With the Corrosive Skin, it's pretty oh. much unkillable versus uh, magical damage. So that really negates a lot of the damage coming out from Shadow Fiend and Lina. And yeah, Gyrocopter in the early game. So. Definitely. Lina should get an Ag Scepter this Don't game. Because I know like, Ag Scepter is really good against the Rubik. Because you could just near enough one shot him with Laguna Blade. It's so uh, amazing. Same. Also versus Lashbrack and Omni Knight. Uh, oh, but the problem course. is, Lina is not going to be a core position in this lineup. No, definitely not. Just a setup with the Shadow Demon is really good. They have really good roaming potential between those two characters. Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their personalities are also really nice and... <laughs> oh, of course! <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think it was 99% they'll probably be looking at... Uh, well, they're offlaner, essentially. Mm, yeah. What's got 5 to ban out the uh, Broadmother? And 99% even ban out another... Uh, of lane oh, for themselves, the centaur. So essentially, you don't have a lot of uh, off laners left. Nah, maybe an Earthshaker off lane could be well, could be good. Sorry. Mm, for, but versus Lina Shadow Demon, if let's say if they have a defensive oh, thinking, I was thinking for Moscow Five. Ah, okay, an yeah. Earthshaker maybe. It's a possibility, but still, you have the Rubik lo uh, lift and then into the follow up Spade Earth. Like I've realized, they're not quite. Um, 99% don't really have a mobile lineup. They're not really like they quit. They don't have any blinks or teleports. So maybe that Earthshaker Fisher can uh, guarantee a kill. I don't know, but axe, axe, but 99%. Eh? Yeah, there was. Uh, it's a good pickup here as well. Is just if he sees that the entire off lane is just goes terrible, he can just go into the jungle. And I'm gonna assume that Mesco Five is also gonna pick up something like that, maybe on the lines of a Bristleback or Darks here. Bristleback hasn't been banned out, so yeah, prob Darcy, probably yeah, a those, Yeah, like those heroes can just go into the jungle and then they also need something that might be able to stand a little bit more on the front lines. And also with that Viper ultimate, uh, when Bristleback turns around, it's just like, Dark. you know, oh, Dark's here, you yeah, called you it, you called it, well played. Yeah, we see, we see those coming around uh, more often. I really yeah. like the, 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 you don't see the combi now, but I really like the combi between the... Uh, Darks here and Spear Breaker. You just go into the off lane and you keep on going into the. Uh... Oh, okay, I just got the answer here. I'm finishes off. Uh, you just get the iron shot every time on the off lane and just run towards middle. You kill him off, you walk back to top, get a little bit more speed once the mid lane is back. You just start rushing at them again with another iron shell. Yeah, definitely. It's just the whole map control. And yeah, it's. Yeah, the 99% name here is uh, Creation for 99%. Oh, that's perfect. So thank you for that. Uh, Rai Devs 217. One. Uh, 217. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, get into this. Yeah, well... Is my uh, open mic okay? Is my open mic on? Oh my God, Honestly, don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Check that yourself, man. <laughs> I got the audio, so... Uh, if you get okay, like... Yeah. Uh, if you get on the right side of your screen, if you see a chat ball there, then it's, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's yeah. all good. It's okay, all good. it's all good. Yeah, for me it's not. For some weird reason, I put it on before the match, and now I get the book again. Oh, here we go. Pause is coming out already. Okay, there Tactical we go. Tactical pause. Okay, now it's good. Yeah, well, that gives us the time to uh, introduce the uh, the teams. For 99%, we have Mitch on the offlane X. We have Grazine on the Omni Knight. Of course, a great combination with the X. You know, just a nice old uh, purification into the uh, into the call. <laughs> yep, definitely. And we have Lizard playing the Rubik, not his... Uh, sadly, not his Meepo today. We have Milan on the Viper and we have Gogi playing the uh, position 1 Leshrac. Okay, and on Team Moscow 5, we have ZXE playing the Chirocopter with uh, M5 Slander playing the Shadow Demon. Both of them are heading top lane as well as with Lina, Big Dumb. And uh, mid Shadow Fiend will be LMGD. Uh, he He's been looking very, very good recently, even though he is standing in. And then uh, I think the solo off lane, uh, solo safe lane Darkseer is Limbo playing Darkseer. Yeah, they they uh, up to go here for an aggressive try lane on the side of Moscow Five. Mm. And actually, it's pretty easy. You just get uh, disruption into LSA into uh, Rocket Barrage, and you should be able to get off a kill. 
this track is very squishy early levels, so I would presume very easy kills here. Yeah, you might even focus the uh, the Omni Knight uh, first though, just to well, even though the purification is really weak on the first level, it's still another heal. And with what is it, Jarrow to want to get close and personal to you to get his rocket barrage off, you oh, might yeah. actually hit him with him that as well. So you might want to look out a little bit for that. Yeah, for sure. Oh, drawing on the map down here. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, oh, I think. Worse. Oh, I've seen a lot worse as well. So I think they're. Um, I think ninety nine percent. Oh, they're playing Norton Crosses. Here we go. Ah, uh, dear Lord. <laughs> uh, it's still. It. It's still always better than uh, what Hey Hey does from time to time. So. Oh, uh, yeah. there oh, we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Didn't take too long at all. Oh my God. I think HWH is playing for Slender here. I think they switched accounts or something. Yeah, <laughs> this is Milan. And uh, he's back. He's back in the game. And uh, we should start now. And Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Milan, man. Dude. <laughs> I think that uh, the Twitch chat is highly in favor of Moscow 5 here. Um, yeah, they are, they are, of course, the favorites here. It's just how it goes. And... Yeah. And also Oop. people chanting moist. Yes. Definitely. Your uh, gamer's name. I think they're just your friends, though. It's, it, it's, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's a few of my teammates. Uh, oh, my Shadow Fiend Arcana looks lovely. Yeah, no special colors in it, though. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, it's four. Only four three shitterers come back. Or <laughs> Masco 5 uh, contests in the top room. There's four of them up here. Yeah, that's just. I want to see if they're gonna go for their save lane rune, and you can just easily disrupt into the first blood here. If somebody yeah, actually goes for this rune, they will die. Enough time to make a cup of tea. Yeah, is uh, what's Viper taking? Viper hasn't taken any skill points yet, and he's gone for the bot rune. It's a uh, ward coming out from um, ninety nine percent in the radiant jungle. Yeah, this is actually now essentially it's pretty much just a wasted ward here because it's just gonna be the dark serum, but and you don't need yeah. this vision for him there. Nope, no, you don't. And with the Shadow Feed, you're not going to rotate bottom anyway. Nah, definitely not. Time to get angry with each other. I think that Darkseer is going to have a really good time with it. Oh, yep. They've um, split the bounty rooms 50 50 there. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. You don't want to contest the, uh, the side of M5 on it, so. Yeah. Actually, is this? Yeah, Limbo should be fine here. Once he got some levels here, he should be able to bully out uh, the X. That's just how it goes with the Darks Darkseer versus. Uh, X. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my eye on the middle. This one looks very interesting. Oh, so um What? Shadow Fiend opted Oh no, this one. Shadow Fiend opted for the raises first, what do you think? This wants to get the early CS because of it, but the one problem with this you don't start stacking up souls, but you're already you level up fairly fast anyway and you will get them anyway. It's just Yeah, I think he's gonna get bullied out. By the Viper. And there we go on top. There's going to be the first disruption of the game already. Into Lightning Strike Array, and there's just going to be the Repel, and they can start running away. Yep, definitely. Oh, so, that was lucky for Leshra out there. Wow, and very well played by the Omni Knight. That Repel coming out just in time. And he saved his skill points, so he didn't have to go for Purification. Yeah, this is uh, it's going to be tough to get any kills here on top, but they can just bully out the entire side of 99%. This yeah. is yeah. This is what you get oh. for letting through the gyro. Hmm. The Moscow Five supports are just uh, staying next to the pool camp, just making sure that no one gets any farm at all from that uh, pool camp now. Yeah, but uh, I don't think they will do any pools anyway. Then you just give hmm. M5 the chance as well to go underneath the tower because the creeps will be tanking it. Viper top in the CS that, uh, with uh, the Never Toxin. That's, that's definitely. Oh, they're both going for top rune. Uh, the there picks. won't be any rotations in from the supports though, so this means that LMGD has to run away. He can stand up versus Milan. There you go. Where's, who's Axmo then? Is LMGD Axmo? Hmm? I, I saw Axmo was in, um, in the what you call it? In the lobby chat. Axmo. One of the players said Axmo. Oh, GDT uh, Axmo, yeah. So, um, LG... LMGD is Axmo. Oh, okay. Yeah, and now Limbo. Awesome. He's in a little bit of trouble. There's gonna be the creeps as well. One spin. Two spin. One more. Nope. 
Nope. He's dodging this one around. And Mitch, there. No, the really buff. Low health buff. Ooh. Putting up an orb oh, there. Oh, Mitch is in trouble. Mitch is in trouble. Yes, one spin. Yeah. Okay, Both are just creep skipping all the time and really low HP. <laughs> oh, and there's a regen rune bot. That's so lucky for him. He can. Yeah, man, he's. Man, this is the best day of uh, Mitch's life here. Oh my god. Oh, I think he's avoiding the. He's avoiding it now. I, I don't think he's he has seen it. Oh, has he not seen it? No. Man. Oh, the room does not give it. Uh, the ward does not give it. Does it? LMG is getting dived and he's a tower here by Milan. Milan's gonna, not gonna get the first. Oh, he's still gonna oh, get there. First blood. Yeah. Poison doing his work there, but Slender has come in. Oh. Uses disruption. Milan was stuck on the tower. And oh, a little bit Ooh, more. Just a bit more. Uh, not enough. He's gonna survive. And he's come across the regen room. What is lucky day? Yeah, they do have vision of that though, so. <laughs> it's coming out on the courier towards Viper. Yeah, Viper uh, already, already collecting his treads at three and a half minutes in. It's looking good for him. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, he's this Shadow Fiend, he just can't stand up versus a Viper. Nah, definitely not. He's only got four souls as he died, so. They already. They rotated in Bignum. Mm. They just want to contest. Or actually guard this room with three people. Yeah, that's wasting a lot of time for M5 now. Even even ZXC is starting to walk a little bit close towards the rune as well. Oh. Now it's just taking a farm here at the same time. Yeah, the, the top three, well, the top two CS's are from there, 99%. I don't think ZXC is finding enough on this top lane. See if they can get a kill now. Oh, let's pick up. Nope. We're back, disruption there, LSA is not gonna hit, sorry, too far away. Blue <laughs> Earth also off the mark. Yeah, this uh, aggro triangle isn't going the best for them right now. But the good thing is, is uh, Limbo's getting a lot off this uh, safe lane. So once Gogi starts to get some levels and with the lighting there, it's just gonna be tough. Mm. Up here. Yeah, now we just look at a little bit more, but... So they really, essentially, they just can't stand up versus each other. They're both trying to... Creep, uh, yeah, get the creep waves all the time. Really weird matchup. Yeah, definitely. Sure. Oh, there's a nice pull there from Moscow 5 into a stack cam. And oh, Viper got a kill mid. Yeah, LMGD dies again to the Viper Shrag now. This Viper will be very potent late game. Especially with that max poison attack, uh, I think that Viper will have a serious impact this game. Uh, there's one problem here with actually with the uh, aggressive stride now coming out of Moscow 5. Because of that, they're not stacking the jungle, so it's going to be hard to uh, to get back into the game with the shadow from here. Then. Oh, Rubik taking the last hit on the big crew there. Nice steal with Fable, but yeah, now he's low on my life. Oh, <laughs> I have a clarity for him. Yeah. Regine has one. See if ZXC can get more aggressive now he's purchased phase boots. Well, no. <laughs> the well, problem is no. he just he just gets nuked down. That's the problem now. They need to make sure that they get uh, probably Gogi down. Okay, so and Viper is just picked up an invisibility rune and a double damage rune, and he's heading his way bottom. I think he's going to go on the dark sea. Yeah, yeah. The dark sea. He knows something is up because he sees the uh, invisibility rune and bot. So he's being taken by uh, by Milan. Yeah, he's just gonna buy a TP now and go back to the middle here. It's going to be in a. It seems to be an early mecha onto Milan here. Yeah, that'd definitely be the way forward because of that early survivability for his team. Oh. Oh, Gogi. Oh, oh they're running. In trouble. A bit of oh, it's even oh, going to hit him. This. They do have to lift that, but this rush is. It saves him for now, Lizard. Lift up on Slender. They want to try and focus him down. There's going to be the fade ball. Yet, yeah, less hit is there from Gogi. That's 3 0 uh, in favor of 99%. Yeah, and now, now you can just essentially give up on this <laughs> aggressive try lane. If yeah, everybody yeah. has to go back to base to heal up. But the problem is, Mitch is already level 6 as well. So. And Mitch is making a move on uh, Limbo. Searching away, he does have a TP. Will he use it? Nah, he just want to run around. They're going to have a TP in here now as well. Shadow Demon is here as well. They have two Sander. iron shells. Mitch is pretty taking the damage right now. Gonna oh, be Lina in, in as well. Position now. 
Oh, he's stalking the threes for now. Berserker Skull, Soulcatcher is gonna hit as well. LSA is off the mark, but they will still get the kill. Yeah, that's a kill going to Shadow Demon there. That's a, a well needed kill for the side of Moscow 5. Moscow 5, sorry. Yeah, they're finally on the board now. Some hate for the Iron Branch here by Milan once he drops it and doesn't seem to be picking it up. The top three CSs at the moment are 99%. It's looking really good, they're farming really well, and uh, they're playing in sync. Yeah. Considering they have four stand-ins. Is well, that correct? They have four stand-ins? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's in no way correct at all. No, it uh, says here yeah, four stand-ins. Yeah, me. it's because they just made this new team. That's why. Essentially, all of these players are from their team. Oh, okay. I was very confused. Yeah. This, this, uh, the team has been uh, made up uh, last week and they're gonna go on ZXC here. They're gonna dive the tower. Gogi's taking some uh, tower damage here, but it doesn't matter because there's already Milan. He walks in the wall, is Bob there's Vacuum, he doesn't have it, he just threw down a wall, but that doesn't matter for Milan, he can just walk around it with his haze room. Double kill for Milan. Well executed. Dominating streak, 4-0, huh? he's fine. Ooh. Even the Omni Knight is already level 5 right now, and this is a hero, once he gets his levels, it's just going to be so tough to, to kill anybody. Purification and the repels then, that's just... Yes. It'll just make it harder for Moscow 5. And... The levels are definitely in favor of uh, Moscow 5. Um, 99%, sorry. Yeah, they're uh, yeah, not too far ahead, about 3k in gold now, and uh, about the same in XP. So. so, if we have a look at the Lesh Rack here, um, what do you reckon the most popular build is at the moment with the skill build? Like, yeah, well, li feel... Lightning Storm Split Earth, and maybe one point in Diabolic Edict to force out the uh, fortification. Yeah. First item, Let's... 9 out of 10 times, is uh, is the Bloodstone, and it seems also to be uh, how he's going to do BKB. it this time. Yeah, Bloodstone, BKB. Definitely. Yeah, with Arcane Boots, you, are, you already know that he's going to do that. So you just disassemble those. Ooh. Oh! It's going to be the disruption. Limbo is also running in. Dragon Slave doing a lot of damage. He's going to he's just going to run away Jesus. for now, and Milan Jesus. TP's in. And now Slender is going to be on the list here. Mage, he wants to call him and he gets it off. Nice dunk there. Dunk. Search? Oh, they stole Search. Oh. Mage starts running in. Limbo, though. Yeah, he also has his own Search, so he's fine. Vignum is also able to escape. Yeah, very good TPs um, from the side of 99%. Great reactions. And now Milan, he's just, what is it, 600 ish gold off the, uh, the mecha. 10 minutes in. Mitch. Yeah. About 440 gold off his blink. <laughs> Once he has that, they're just gonna start pushing down towers, and there's nothing really Moscow 5 can do at the moment. Mm. Oh, is there some smoke purchase on the side of Moscow 5? Do you reckon they have any Roshan potential? No, mm. no, they don't. No. No, that's probably a catch up smoke. See if they can get a smoke gank out. It's, yeah, it's way too early for them to be looking at Rush right now. They don't have a medallion, and so they only have Presence of the Dark Lord, and even that is about. Well, level 0 at the moment. I'm going to level it at level 9. Yeah, Let's see if this Shadow Thing can get them back into the game. But now they're actually just trying to trade towers here. Moscow 5 is taking the bottom one, while their 99% is just going for the top. Oh, Gogi and Grazine are rotating in for bottom. They will try to contest this. If they are in time, though. Gogi he runs in. Lightning. Yeah, they're already backed off here, and they're just going to get the top tower. Yeah, it's in deny range now. Uh, the bot tower. Yep. So I just deny that. Less gold. Going the way of Moscow 5. Yeah, a little okay. bit of a victory there for 99% in a way, but the one thing is, they want to be sure that they take towers without a really any retaliation on the side of Moscow 5 because they're really just the early game. Well, they just have the early to mid game lineup here. Late game, Moscow 5 should destroy them. Yeah. Viper falls off, Lashbrack falls off, X falls off, versus a Shadow Fiend and a Gyrocopter, that's not gonna work. Ooh, Mitch, he has his blink, he sees Slender, big num. He doesn't see them yet. Oh, big num, he walks. Did he see him? I don't know. I don't think so, they're not running away from each other. Oh, LMG did. You might saw him there. No, there's just a lot of things coming out of no vision. 
Presume yeah, he has more. He knows what's up. There's a hay stream bottom. See if um, any of the uh, 99% want to go grab that. No one has seen it so far. Slender might be the first one to spot this one out. Middle tower is under attack. It's five people uh, on the side of Moscow 5 on the bot lane and then the jungle. And that makes it an easy tier 1 mid for 99%. And they're walking in. They're gonna try and hide here in the forest and see if somebody that comes to defend it will just get jumped on here first. No, TP cancelled here. Diabolic E has been used. LMGD. There's gonna be the call on to him. Purification as well. He's almost Ooh. already down. And there's gonna be the dunk. Nice repel missed before, so the. Uh, well, the death from Shadow Demon. Uh, Shadow Fiend doesn't do him any damage. Uh, just to recap everybody, my insanity is now playing under the tag 99%. That's a new team name, by the way. If anybody was wondering. It's a few people in Twitch chat. Uh, about it. Always good to say. Yeah. We'll think about sound. Ooh. Fall down. Well, search is already being used. Okay. It's fine. Disruption is there. Milan. Yeah, he just uh, blinks forward. Yeah, I'm even on Mitch. Stand and that XC, he needs, he needs to get dunked here. Mitch, Mitch, there you go. There's the dunk. Limbo, he gets called. And uh, yeah, and he is going to get the dunk. Here we go. Now the pure. Purification, I mean GA comes out, LMGD, another oh, call, triple, triple call. Rich <laughs> oh, is playing out of his mind this game. He, he's just having fun right now. Yeah. Just getting those dunks of uh, left, right and center. Good timing on his uh, Berserker's call into uh, to the dark sea there as well. I reckon an Aghanim Scepter on Axe would be really good and really jokey. Mm, really uh, good. It, it's good, but I think he will first have to go for the blade mill. It just blows up the, uh, the gyro Especially with gyro so without a BKB as well. Oh, we gotta pause here. Yes, Gogi has a little bit of a problem, it seems, or... Lags. Yeah. Gyro Copter, they have... Oh, he's nowhere close near a big item. He just got a brace and a key line, uh, a nice pair of boots, and that's... Not tanky at all, he will get blown up. What's the blade mill? If he wants to get a blade mill on Mitch... The X? Was it 400, 500 more gold? Maybe yeah, less? not far off at all. Well, it was a lovely regen room there for Mitch as well. How lucky is that? Yeah, they're just having luck here all the time. Every time they walk somewhere, they just find this regen room. Already before with Milan with the first blood. Yeah, it's coming up a lot. Oh. And I actually forgot to put on the net worth. 15 minutes in and now I just put on the net worth. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the net worth then. <laughs> So far, 6.7k gold onto the Viper. Yeah, he has 1700 gold in the bank. Oof. Holla walla get dollar. Yeah, he's, he's gonna get an Aghanim like for sure. Oh, the XP graphs and the gold graphs are not looking good. Especially for Moscow 5. Yeah, well, that, that's actually also kind of what you're expecting here with this lineup from 99%. It's early to mid game. This is like, they just got their first core items up and this is just the moment that they really start to shine. Yeah. They definitely need to um, take it late game, Moscow 5, if they have any chance of bringing this back. But as you can see, the, most of the tier 1s have gone now for the Moscow 5. They have a refresh glyph as well, so that should help them. Uh, yeah, they should be able to end this one in time there. Uh, could you do me a favor and check out the stream? They say there are some problems with the sound. Alright, I'll have a look now. You could uh, check that one out. That would be uh, that would be great. Alright. was now also starting. Oh no. There's a long pause already coming out here from. Now. Sounds fine to me. It's uh. Are you louder than me, or about the same, or? It's, I think we're the same actually. Well, then my I settings are still perfect, and I don't know what the Twitch chat is talking about. Ah. Uh. Put your headset on, man. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that has been DC'd for a while. Yeah, you should be able to come back fairly soon. What is it? One minute uh, so far. Uh, they're asking for net worth. Yeah, I already put it up. Alright, cool. I'll see it soon on the stream. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just hope it's just lag and I don't have to... Make a load or something. Yeah, they're quite buggy at the moment. Use. Shut up, use lover. 
<laughs> you, you won the Arcana. Don't say DDoS. <laughs> uh, it's always good to see the... We had a giveaway, what is it, two weeks ago for the uh, Night Stalker Immortal Bundle. And uh, Yules Lover was the one who won that one. It's always good to see him back here in the chat. Yeah, it's always good to see returning faces. Uh, well, anyway, guys, uh, while we have a little bit of a break here, uh, like always, I want to thank the uh, the sponsors. We have eBattle, we have Intel, we have Republic of Gamers, and Kingston HyperX, who are just uh, well providing us the, uh, the ability to host this tournament. With the co-caster yep. with me today is uh, is Zach. You can follow him at at Zach Owen, I believe, or Zach yeah, Zach Owen, Owen yeah, Zach yeah. underscore Owen. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Sander. I'm the the caster of uh, Swiss TC. Yeah, that's about it. This is uh, yeah, Moscow follow Five. Me. Yeah, follow him. This is Moscow Five versus My Insanity, the loser bracket, uh, round number one. This is a best of one. And now I'm gonna ask the teams if they, you need to know. The whole Twitch chat is just DDoS, DDoS. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say this: if one of them says I'm the person DDoSing it, I'm gonna ban him. <laughs> Try to ban there. But yeah, no rapids. It's coming out on the courier, our wards, and TP, and there is a completed urn of shadow on Lizard as well for the Rubik. That's nice, but they're just our earlier question right now. If you can, yeah, once he has it, they should be able to get quite a lot of uh, charges there. <laughs> oh, the amount of kills he's getting, yeah. Well, more than participation, he has zero kills, but six assists. Oh, of course, Mitch with the dogs. It's been on point. Where's Mitch at the moment? Still next to that regen room. Do you reckon 99% uh, have any chance of uh, getting a Roshan? Um, no, they uh, have actually a really poor line if you take Rush. There's no the minus Egypt. armor. Even Edict doesn't do that much for Rush. Mm -hmm. You do have a lot of sustain though, so they are able to take it, but it will take a long time and... If you're gonna take a long time, either Moscow 5 is gonna spot it out, or they're able to actually just out-farm you in that time and take a tier 1, even on middle and top as well. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna be a long rush. Yeah. Yeah, GA is down for now, so that's probably Moscow's 5 times to strike. Mm, even if they take the fight now. Although GA is down, they don't, they can't win it. Mecha's going to be up in 30 seconds, and they just have the strong items and the Bender combos a little bit as well because there's no, there's oh there's actually Laguna Blade, so just hit six. Yeah, mid. But you can, I, you can still dodge it with a repel if you're on time. There's a little bit of a, of a yeah, a Cassie later. We're already five minutes into the. Uh, to the, to the pause time. Milan said he'd be back any time now. One to two minutes. Let's hope they're back soon. I just need to keep the teams updated on these kind of things, sadly. Uh, yeah, they got essentially they got ten minutes in total. Ten minutes total both teams. I mean each team has ten minutes. <laughs> oh each team has ten minutes. We can give some uh Alright, he's coming back soon, that's good. Be such a shame to end this game. Oh Yeah, well back. they they had still have time to use a load if need be and then just get a fast uh, replacement. Yeah. But it's fine. It's cool. We're, we're back in order. It's okay. Uh, I believe Dale Mike, Dale Milk wants uh, he wants to get a ban, but uh, no man. I'm I'm just gonna give you a timeout for now. We'll see you back. Uh, you can talk again in in what is it? Six hundred seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Please keep on watching. Have fun. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. This is he's actually leveling up diabolic edict here. 
I really would just want to use it for the uh, for the push. Oh, yeah. Taking so bot lane now. Taking that tier two. Be a great injection of gold for one star percent, especially at 15 minutes in. Also, we haven't pointed it out, but look at the score: 11, uh, 1 to 11. Oh no, Limbo, oh, he on. get pulled into a split earth. He's gonna die here. Here we go, Milan taking another kill. Mega, Mega kill streak. Kill. Now they're gonna TP top. Well done used. Lizard, oh, Laguna Blade oh. into his face. He only gets up a Fade Bolt here. Berserk is called Cancel, big num. Yeah, he's just gonna get caught out big here. Purification, caught. kills him off. Oh, Slender, he's, he's out. He's out. And uh, LMGD as well, TP's out. Still, Lizard for... Uh, for the core dogs here and uh, support, they hold their tier tier one, they get a tier two. So fine for ninety nine percent here. Yeah. Now they're just gonna transition this into a, a tier two here. Nothing really to stop them at the moment. Shadow Finties. Yeah. Just actually look at the hate coming here, come out from ninety nine. They just put in an observer oh. work in the camp. To stop them from farming. So, yeah, they just want to make sure they can't catch up anymore. And yeah, Moscow Five in no position to defend this. Lizard even steals Iron Ball, so he should be able to keep the creep equilibrium here. Final middle, while well, his team takes a tier two. That diabolic edict is so strong against us. It's another tower down. There's only one tier two remaining, and that's in the mid. And, and that will uh, be their, definitely be their next uh, point of attention here. Maybe get a little bit of a pick off first. Do they have a smoke? That's something to look at. They do. Lizard has one. Oh, they've spotted out Shadow Fiend with uh, the ward, the Observer ward down in the Radiant Jungle. So they're pinging him out. They actually know that uh, both of them uh, are here on bottoms. So they can just go towards the middle here too. I'm not completely sure if they want to trade this. Tier 2 for tier 2, but oh, Limbo, he surges out. And he's gonna TP here, there's nothing to stop it. Okay, ZX is back. He's only got that level 1 cooldown, he's not as strong. And uh, Milan has a max corrosive skin, so I don't think it's gonna do much. Oh, cooldown. I just some farm ZX. Milan even purposely just walks into it to get the corrosive skin off the ZX. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. Yeah. And there we go, there's gonna be the blink in into Slender, Call, and he's just gonna die here. X, he's just pretty much back to full health already. Uh, my friends are watching it downstairs, man. <laughs> <laughs> 2,500 viewers, lovely. Thanks everyone for tuning in. It's always good to see everybody here, and this is gonna be a tier 2 for 99%. Uh, Looking good on the. First, well, big match, actually, big yeah. casted match. Uh, I, they had one match yesterday on G2L, I believe. That was their first match on the with their new name. I don't know if they won it though. I should have looked it up. <laughs> I'm lazy. Anyhow, they might look at Rush now. But yeah, there we go. They're gonna just yeah, they're going in now. They got the mech for that armor boost as well. Two hundred and fifty. Yeah. Berserk is call on uh, on Mitch, so he won't take too much damage if he wants to. It's gonna be a slow Roshan. Yeah, that, that's what we said before. It's the, the Radiant team do know what's going on. They're going on, sorry, and they've all smoked up. They're going Mark towards Roshan now. They have everything of cooldown. There is. What level? It's only a level two vacuum though. So oh, that's more than big enough for the for Rush Pit five. Oh. He walks in. Milan's already out, Mitchell gets pulled oh, in, but he's just done. affecting wall on two, and it doesn't really matter that much. There's gonna be GN. Oh, Milan, he's actually Milan's gonna take down. a spill here. The next team, they're really just cleaning house here. Mitch is trying to fight up here, but it doesn't work out for him. Mitch is dead. He is dead. Now, Gogi. Regime. Oh, no, Spitter of the Mark. From Lightning, Slender. He gets off the soul capture here, but it doesn't really matter. Pulse Nova. Yeah, there you go. Now he's in position. Slender, he's just, just buying time, TPing out, but. What? They don't see him. Oh, he's free. It's two for one in favor of um, Moscow 5. They really needed that. It's two calls down just for the um, solo safe lane dogs here. 
Yeah, Rush is half health. They might actually just go back in once they get back here because now all the cool, all the ultimates are on cooldown. <laughs> yeah, they have to fight around the cooldowns of their ultimates. Um, Moscow Pride. But Viper with the Ag Scepter just picked up and uh, the Pulse Nova they're always good to go and so is Axe uh, kind of late. Only GA is the big ultimate that they sort of have to look for. But now with a purchase medallion it should be easy. Yeah, this is, that's just what they needed to uh, to kill the rush fast. Nice smack on the ground just before he dies and uh, Gogi gets... Uh, yeah, Gogi is happy with that. I think he'll get a BKB next, uh, just to stop the Laguna Blade and the cooldown doing so much damage. Even, it's also good for us as the Requiem of Souls and uh, the Vacuum Wall. Essentially all of the damage right now coming out of Moscow Flies is just purely magical. Yeah. Oh, um, LMGD has uh, the purchase Black King Bar now, with 600 gold on the top. I don't know what he'd be purchasing next, maybe a Skardi, maybe try and tank up. LMGD will. If he has even time to buy something else. Because 99% yes. they're just bar they're barling down middle. They just they just go high right now. They'll just ages. put Gogi on top in the front. They have Regina in the back with repel. Cross heal, they have a lot of sustain. Mitch is standing all the way back to uh to blink in if need be and uh. I think this is a Rax going down. Is that actually he's yeah he just pushed down the tier two here in bot but yeah, there's this. What are gonna do here? Is there a blink or any type of real initiation? Well, there is not. They essentially just have to run straight into the lineup of 99%. Slano, he does get off a disruption here, but yeah, Milan, he just uh, starts to run away. There's actually a mixed dunk here for Mitch. It's actually pretty bad. This is gonna be the wall down from Limbo, but yeah, the vacuum doesn't do a lot there. LMG, he tries to fight it versus Goggy, but Goggy has his own personal. Black uh, King Bar here, there's gonna be the Burst Trigger Skull and LMGD and he gets blown up, Gogi, he is still alive, he's gonna get an on to him and, ooh, really low and yeah, he actually gets killed off here, but he still got the Aegis, buyback is used by LMGD and now this is gonna be Rex. yeah, Rex is going down very unfortunate for uh, Moscow 5 I reckon if another Rex is down there, just call it yeah, this is their tournament live though, like, hmm you kind of want to stay here. Yeah, <laughs> like... I don't know how they're possibly going to come back. They're 12k gold behind. Not too much on XP though, but that's what you get for 5 manning down. Mm. And 99% uh, have left the ward behind as well. So they can see what's going on inside the base. As well as uh, this ward here as well, so uh, they can see who's entering the jungle and who's leaving the jungle to farm. Yeah, LMGD getting those souls back up, he's lost a few. Yeah, what do you think, yeah, M5, I, I think they just really, really like initiation here. Like you saw it before, they just had Slender run in, and that is quite obvious that you want to go and initiate on that end. 99% just... Yeah, they just blink in into you and they just take it and kill you off. There's, yeah. There's no well, they can't them. defend against one lane of Mega Creeps. Like, uh, the races from Shadow Fiend are very, very strong. Yeah, they also have Flak Cannon, so. Oh, that's a, And I have Shadow as well. That does a lot of damage. And even uh, Lina with uh, LSA and Dragon Slave. The, oh, big num LSA misses on Milan. He uses his, uh, <laughs> his Glimmer Cape here. He just purchases that one and, yeah, straight off into the user. I think Glimmer Cake, Glimmer Cake is a very strong item, yeah, especially on supports. And now that they have it, they have kind of a little bit of an initiation here, now they can actually just run in while being in this. As long as there are no sentries down, they have a kind of a... they can try it. They're just actually just really aggressive into the enemy jungle here. Gogi, he, he might uh, try to defend here and he can get called out here by four people. I think 99% are committing for another Rax. They're all running bottom, they're pushing out the lane. I think they're just gonna march up to the bot Rax. And actually, uh, Gogi, he purchased the, uh, the BOTs and he's building up towards an Octarine core right now. Ooh, Octarine core is a very strong item on Meshrat because that he does so much magic damage, the life shield is immense. I think yeah. they're gonna trade. There's a TP on um, 
everyone up top. Yep, so they're coming back now. After they get this tier 2 top. And Goku, he can just keep him bolt once he uh, needs to be there. There's a siege creep if he uh, if he needs to go to one. Yeah, uh, this ward from Lizard was a little bit obvious. Okay, guys, gonna get yeah, the warded straight away. Warded. And we have another pause. Oh no, Mitch, he pauses. That's uh, that's gonna be fun for them. Lizard DC, whoa. Another DC there coming out. Laser DC is not out of the match yet. That's actually quite a problem. Okay. Time left. Okay. I hope that this. Uh, it might be tough here. I hope he get back in time because he's not out of the match yet. And that might actually indicate. Uh, 13 bloodstone charges on Leshra. It's very good. He's, he's having a good time. He's had a very good time, yeah. He's a second on the net worth. He's uh, not very far off there, uh, Viper. Milan. I think that Milan has had a cracking game so far. 7 to 1 to 9. He's definitely been pulling his weight so far. And Rubik disconnected. There we go. He's finally off there and. Hmm. I think 99% uh, might have to ask uh, Moscow 5 for a bit of their uh, their time there. The... What I find a really interesting um, item on Lizard is the Solar Crest. It's a very good item for Rubik as well. It gives him armor and that evasion as well makes it more survivable. Instead of building just pure stats, that Solar Crest gives him a lot of armor so he's a lot more survivable. And he can also give it to a teammate so they have evasion against Shadow Fiend and Gyrocop. So it's really good. You could even just put it on ZXC himself. Oh, yeah. Then he has missions, and with the Sanjay Yarsha and not a BKB as first item, that essentially just miss, means that Jarakoti will do almost no physical DPS anymore. Very interesting pickup. I'm going to have to do it myself because I love playing with it. Yeah, this is uh, so far, yeah. But Moscow 5, if they can't hold this, is my problem. Mm -hmm. There's not many wards on the side of uh, Moscow 5, they can't even get outside their base at the moment. Okay, Moscow 5 will give them their time as well, this essentially just uh, gives... Uh, 99% a little bit more time, so we have 30 more minutes and uh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, really good of them to do so. Yeah, it's really it's fun. That, actually, it's really weird that everybody's saying DDoS, DDoS, but we actually, we just have, uh, we have loads. So even if you DDoS, it doesn't really mean jack shit because we'll yeah, just remake the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're from the same time point as that they are now, so it actually doesn't really help you out that much. Mm. But yeah, let's. Uh, I guess we have a little bit more time now to uh, to thank all our sponsors again. Well, again, man, they should be happy. We have eBattle. We're saying that Moscow Five has a sixty-five percent win rate well, or chance to win. Well, ninety-nine percent are pretty much just showing the opposite right here, right now. Is mm -hmm. they're really in the lead. We have Intel as well, we have Republic of Gamers, we have Kingston HyperX as well. And something, somebody that isn't being shown in the uh, in the waiting screen, but is shown in our panel as well as in our nice bottom right corner here from time to time with the other logos. It's Dota HQ. I don't know if you know that, Zach. Do you know what Dota HQ is? No, I haven't. Fill me in. Yeah, it's an uh, analytical uh, Dota 2 website where you can upload your matches and they show you like how you're... Well, scaling up versus the other people there. They're trying to expand the database now by adding a lot of uh, well, competitive matches as well. And then you can see how good you're also in comparison to them. So that's just fun to check out for everybody. The, you can just click the picture in the panel of us and uh, you can go to the website there. Oh, I'll have a look now. Uh, we also have, of course, D2L. Well I want to thank them for putting up our matches there. Later today, we also have another match. We have the... Uh, the winner brackets semi-final between the Balkan Bears 
And London Conspiracy, this is the best of three and a weapon in uh, a 20 CSD, so two hours from now. Yeah, Balkan Bears are looking really strong. No, London Conspiracy, man, they're invited to the Open Qualifier, they're heavily favoured. I like... think Balkan Bears are really good, to be fair, on their, on their best night. Yeah, but... Versus London, London Conspiracy, Conspiracy. It's, it's tough to win from them, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, God, yeah. long pauses. Yeah, in the end, I, what do you think will win, uh, win the Mountain Trail Challenge? Uh, I'm not completely sure if you know what teams are still left in the pool to win, so you want me to tell them? Oh, I know Power Rangers have got it. You think Power Rangers? Oh, Power Rangers all day. Over in Vega. Digital, we trust. Hey, yeah. uh, hey, Power Rangers, BB, I have faith LC. in Power Rangers, they will win. They will win. Yeah, they won yeah. their uh, the previous match versus uh, A United with 2-0. They're in the bracket. They be fine. Really convincingly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I reckon uh, Power Rangers have got this. Easy. You're falling into reverse. You're talking to somebody there as well. And... Oh, let me meet myself. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to do that once you're talking to somebody else uh, outside the stream. Okay, they're already 13 minutes or 11 minutes in now. Oh my god. Any news on the laser jet? Let's see how it goes there. How much pause time is left? Uh, a minute or eight. I think that's no. I think that's no. Four to eighteen, twenty five minutes in. Gold graphs heavily in favor of ninety nine percent experience. Same thing there. Are you sitting further away from your uh, microphone? Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I hear that, and they're drawing again. Is somebody saying something fun in the Twitch chat before? Uh, ignore them. Yeah, uh, nothing fun here. Win because of DDoS. What the fuck is this Wubo saying? Wubo is just sharing out love. Be nice. <laughs> if you don't like Moobot, well, then don't listen to her. Oh, Moobot's bay. Best thing there is, man. This makes my life easy. Are oh, you getting a first call here? Are you actually watching uh, Game of Thrones or any of the other big TV shows at the moment? Who, me? Watching Game of Thrones? Yeah. Nah, I don't really follow that. I know some of my friends definitely do follow Game of Thrones. Yeah. Shout out to Nico. Yeah! Nico Baby? Uh, no, not Nico Baby, <laughs> no, my friend Nico. <laughs> good try, good try. You can still have a shout out for Nico Baby as well. <laughs> yeah. Good Nico yeah. Baby. Hmm. Uh. A shout out to Ed for letting me use his PC, woo! Is Ed in the neighbor in the neighborhood in the vicinity there? Oh, Ed's downstairs. Yeah, if he wants to get come up, say some uh, some motivational yeah, words to you. Yeah, Ed can definitely come upstairs when he listens. I if think the they're watching the stream downstairs. So man, if you hear this, come up, say some motivational words to Rasek here. Give him yeah. feedback. Give him comments. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I don't bet. Uh, Against me, I never bet on uh, on matches that I'm uh, I'm playing or casting. Nerdy gamer, that's probably also one of your friends. That English caster sound hot. Ah, uh, no, that's definitely uh definitely not one of my friends. Oh, he, he seems to much. really love you. <laughs> uh, he's not the only one. They all love me. That English caster sounds hot. Oh no. He's just spamming that out. <laughs> if you wanna, yeah man. Nerdy yeah. Gamer, if you wanna see Zach's picture, go to uh, add Zach underscore Owen. Yeah. And give him some love there. 
Uh, this is not going well for uh, my Cynthia. How much time do they have left? Not that much. I'm gonna ask them. If Two thousand eight hundred and seventy-one viewers. Okay. Thank you all for tuning in. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, we're loading in, hey. Oh, just disconnect from the sun. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna ask them to play for thirty seconds. Ah, fuck it, or not, or not. Make the uh, lobby now. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna put up the uh, the pause screen real fast so you guys uh, don't see this. Ha! <laughs> we'll be back really, really soon. We'll just talk in the meantime. We'll, we'll keep your uh, spirits lifted here. I'll make the lobby now. Leave game. Make uh, sure to join the lobby. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm joining the lobby. The uh, same password, so. Yeah. Searching for save games. What's the password again? I'm not gonna say that on Twitter. Oh, okay. Uh. Um, I'll send it to you here. Ah, uh, you actually just check your. Uh... There we go. I send it to you. Make sure that you write it all down correctly. Who is there standing? Standing. Pablo is here. Hey, Pablo. You need to get into the match uh, pretty fast. There you go. Just join my channel. Oh, Elsa team is ready now. Just can't write correctly. Moist gift, a shout out to Eric's mom. Eric's mom. Uh, th this is one of my teammates. Eric's mom, I love you very much. You are amazing. I think Alex said that. Vizka. Yeah, Eric's mom. Love you, bae. Alright, I've got Ed with me now. Ed, man, you want to say something on the stream? Ed, you want to say something on the stream? Hello. Hey, mate, how are you doing? I'm good. Uh, have you been enjoying the cast so far? I heard you were watching it downstairs. Yeah, we got all our friends over because we were having a barbecue and Zach decided he had to cast. So we've been watching it down on the TV downstairs. It's been going well. What do you think? Has he been doing a, a good job there? or? Uh... Yeah, he's been doing pretty well. First time really casting something so big, I believe. Yeah, I know. Amazed the amount of people that have tuned in, to be honest. Yeah, it's big matches. Uh, we're promoted everywhere pretty much. And we're actually back in the match, so Ed, I'm going to say goodbye to you. And okay, that's it. I'll hand you over to Zaka. Yeah, thank you very much. Give me your award. Slender, he wants a award from somebody. Give me your awards. And I'm back. Uh, well, we're back into the match, I believe. Yeah, Pablo still has his ward now, so he won't be... Uh, he's now coming in for... Uh, for Lizard here and uh, having a little bit of a laugh here about it and uh, well, we're all back into it and let's see just how this goes now. Oh, waves. Well, this is uh, by the way Pablo from uh, Turtle Gaming, the, the team of EGM who I believe came up to the uh, semi-final in the open qualifier of TI5. Yeah. EGM did you say? Yeah, of EGM's teams. This is not the EGM himself. This is one of the the player of his uh, of their team. So oh, okay. They uh, performed really well. So. Everyone's asking for death win, death win. No, there's no death win. We've uh, reloaded. Yeah, uh, you're not getting a death win. Ha! Not today. Ah, not ever. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see a death win? Get the players to not show up. Then I'll give them a death win. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, ZXC, he's locked the really. Oh, he's caught out here. Yeah, he's way too forward. Doggy, he's taking a lot of damage here, but there's gonna come the GA out as well, and he's gonna be Mitch survived, dog. mate. Dog, yeah. Thank you, Requiem of Souls. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. But yeah, they. Away. But yeah, they, they just lost one so oh. far. Big num, he's. Oh, no, he is fine. He has the Glimmer Cave. Yeah, ZXC, he bought it back, though. <laughs> Eric Mom equals milk. True. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of a lag here myself. I'm still fine. Well, I don't know about that. You, you might have to uh, meet her in real life. She's somewhere in the UK, guys. Go search. Oh, no, no, she's not in the UK. She's a uh, Norwegian. A oh, Norwegian? Norwegian, yeah. I have Norwegian teammates. Ah, well, good luck searching for that one, guys. Yeah, <laughs> good luck. So, go yeah. to a Norwegian. It's, it's not too big. You can find her quite easily. Most yeah. beautiful lady in the world. Of course. <laughs> you now, this is going to be the second hold here right now. One buyback has been used. LSA, Dragon Slave, Creeps Skull. Yeah. Really hard to push into. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter. As long as Milan just gets to repel on him, walks back, get a purification, then he can just walk in again. Yeah, just reinsert straight after. Do they have, they have? Yeah, there we go. Regine also has a glimmer cape, so. Yeah. Let's see what's. Okay. You need to sit uh, closer to your mic, man. Yeah, that's going to be the closest to my mic. Is that better? Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. There we go. Tower goes down. Nothing really to Ooh. stop it. There we go. Start sieging on the, the melee racks now. Indeed. And yeah, this is just gonna be a uh, melee rex down. They're not really. They just miss initiation. That's a big problem here. And with the cooldowns now. Down, well, okay, now they have to wall back. But they would, really, what can they do? Essentially, Limbo has to run in and try and do something. But there's already One mixed. second on the Requiem. Requiem yeah, but is up. Requiem is up, but yeah, he's gonna get it up. Oh, that Vakium combo! But there's a lot of sustain. Pablo is the only one that actually Gogi dies now as well. Grusin starts to run away. And uh, Mitch. Uh, there's A onto him, yeah, he's got out as well. Yeah, Mitch is dead, that was such a good hold by Moscow 5. But Gogi, he just gets instantly uh, back into the into the match. Oh, ZXE. Oh, oh Split Earth. Yeah, he is dead. They're not going to yeah, be able dead. to save oh. him here. But Surge? No. Dead. Gogi, he just runs through the wall. Yeah, if you stay there, they will just get another one there, but it's fine. And Oh, no, no, Milan. Gogi down again. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no, that's horrible. Oh. That's it's okay because I have plenty of shout outs, don't worry about that. I'm gonna give one to my man, Connor. Well, Connor, I love you. Connor, I don't love you because we're back into the match. Oh, <laughs> never mind, eh? <laughs> Spread over to LMGD, Limbo got out with the, uh, the Glimmer Gap there. And this is gonna yeah, be cool. the Melee Rex finally. Bogey walking a little bit through the wall, giving some more damage here to the, uh, to the Darks here. Always nice to see into your Dota buff. Oh, yeah. Slender. Poison, ah, not hitting anybody. I think this is the range rex down as well. Yeah. Rush is up as well now. Essentially, 99%, they can just run away and go back for Rush. Lotus Orb, oh shit. Ooh, Lotus Orb. Laguna Blade, Dispersion. That's what they got here. I think that's about it, right? For targeted spells. Mm, yeah, Laguna Blade. I, if you put Iron Shell on him, does it actually. Go back. I'm not too sure how that one works. Me I neither. So. But okay, we have the purge, we have the disruption. We have, yeah. uh, Could have home in missile, but he hasn't skilled it. The he hasn't took the value point. Yeah, but that yeah, you might as well not skill it now because if you use it on him, you actually get the <laughs> home and missile thrown at your own face. Yeah, and that'd be horrible. <laughs> and he actually put points instead, so he's not gonna do it anymore. I just think the gold is so heavy favor of 99% I don't think they can claw it and especially with this Roshan on top oh they've backed out of Roshan yeah they've realized that Moscow 5 have come over yeah, they just use their the high guard advantage here they see they're gonna see them walking into it. they're just baiting this one <laughs> nice play coming out here from 99 they see that Rush has been taking them here for oh five. they've been caught out Gogi he walks in oh he's actually in the middle of everybody here yes Octarine Corda so he's quite tanky here with 2k HP Vacuum into the wall, GA comes out, but it's already a little bit too late here because the magic damage Requiem has been real. Requiem as well, Mitch taking a lot of damage, he's gonna take a spell here as well. Milan, he's just focusing here on LMGD, LMGD, he's gonna die eventually. Pablo is to run away from ZMC here, yeah, that's gonna be the dead there. Onto him, Pablo, ZMC, and uh, yeah, Pablo is just gonna die here. 
but no, without oh, taking. Stole the Requiem. <laughs> Good steal there. He actually takes him back. Big number. Yeah, he just goes into the Glimmer Cape and TP out. So that was a four for two trade there. With only one core going down for actually, 99%. Four for three. Four for three? Yeah, it's the uh, oh. the Bloodstone there on Gogi. Oh, the Bloodstone. Oh, okay. That <laughs> quick. Yeah, about 10 seconds or so. What did you say, Pug? Hmm? 10 seconds or so, and you go back. Oh, okay. Cool. And 20. So it's Oh, with the booted trapper as well, you just instantly come back down. Indeed. I do think that he might be going for a BKB next now because this is. Uh, the magical damage is a little bit too much for Gogi to stand through. Milan, he, uh, he has his BKB now as well. World of 8 is just completed here on, uh, on Grazin. Okay, shout out to Debauchery as well. Now I'm reading the chat. Somebody wants to everybody to raise their dongers for Connor. <laughs> uh, this is really still at the moment. 99% there. I had look at this 15k. Nice flat lined out here since the uh, zero minute mark because of the load. And actually, Moscow five there. I had an XP. Oh no! I see my uh, my co caster here has died on me. Are you still here, mate? Yeah, I'm here. One sec. Ah, okay. He's still alive, doing other things. Limbo, he's building up towards the Shivas. He got his Mystic Staff now. It does mean that there's no buyback on Limbo. How many people do actually have buyback on the side of Moscow 5? Only the Disruptor. Well, I uh, should the stream. Sorry, I apologize for that. <laughs> That's my friend Connor. Did he just. He said he loves you very much. Ah, he said he loves the stream. Oh, and he loves you too, of course. Ah, that's good. Always good to hear. Always good to hear. Yeah. Actually, Milan. They're not gonna get through Milan now. With the Solar Crest on him as well. Repel here. He can be. Oh, Black King Bar. It's Vitality Boost. That's 2k health on him. With the Solar Crest, so plus 30% miss chance. He can do the same yeah. to Gogi as well. Are you gonna get through this? He just has this Aegis and he can just send him front lines. Essentially, if you initiate on him, Mitch is just gonna call to the uh, just blink to the back line, gets a call off, and from there you essentially already lost your fight. The seven second GA as well on um, the Omni Knight. Omni Knight also has a four staff and a rod of Atos just to. Uh, he's got a glimmer cape and a cloak on top. Yeah, oh, fall down. Just gonna hit people on the back line while well, Gogi just walks into the front line. Birch is being put back onto Shadow Demon here due to the fact that the Lotus Orb. From mid there, there's gonna be the vacuum, there's gonna be the requiem, but it doesn't really matter. BKBs are already on on Milan, and they were already out of position there anyway. Mitch, Berserker's call on to Limbo, MMGD is taking a lot of damage here. Trying to focus on Big Num, and he just gets uh, the Guna Blade back into his face. It XC, he's trying to fight up here. He's dead. Limbo. There's three buybacks. Yeah, but does it really matter because there's. No. Mitch, he didn't call. Okay, but he still get the kill with Milan. Triple kill for Milan. Yeah. Top Rex already exposed. This this will just be the, the Megas here because they still have the Aegis. Yep. Uh, call in! Oh! Berserk nice is calling too. One dunk! No two dunks. He get he get killed off there, sadly. LMGD. Oh. Uh, and GG called. 99% are gonna move up in the brackets here, ladies and gentlemen. They will be facing... Well, the winner of... Or the loser, I mean, of... Uh, Lonely Conspiracy versus BB. The Balkan Bears. Well, that was it. Actually, for now. 99% taking the win here. Yeah. Great fantasy points there. Yeah, Slender, he's minus 0 0.3 there. That's a little bit sad. Pablo gets some free fantasy points going his way as well. Yeah. Uh, Zach, I want to thank you for uh, casting with us. Well, uh, I'll tell you again if we have more things, if I need more people. So. Oh, definitely. Was, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was uh, good to have you here, man. And, uh, well, again, so, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, this was oh, the, uh, the first match of today, the best of one between 99% and Moscow 5. 99%, although the odds were against them, their drafts worked out perfectly. They took the game by, uh, well, pretty convincingly. There no really yeah, time in the match that they were behind. And yeah, but That was sure. just it. Like, thank you again. If you, oh, yeah. Because I always forget this. Subscribe to the channel. Just do it. You don't get, like, annoying commercials and shit like that. And I've subscribed. Everyone subscribe. Do subscribe. And if you don't want to subscribe, follow us at least. It's always good. <laughs> yeah, we have, follow it. 
follow just us. follow then at least if you don't subscribe at least follow that will make me uh, will make me happy and uh, yeah. yeah that was it for now i'm gonna shut down the stream i'm just gonna put a little bit of commercial break and talk a little bit in the chat and yeah see you guys uh, hopefully 